And as a result of that battle, Rydia did learn Lightning 3, which should come in handy. Should come in very handy. Now, I believe we have made it to the entrance of Lunar's Lair. Now, before I do anything, I want to head to the east and the west, because here we can find tiles that will heal us and restore our status. But I'm not poisoned anymore. But that isn't important. I need the healing. I also need the MP healing, which is on this side. Those are, those are rather tough fights that we had to go through just there. And we get our MP back as well. Now we can head up through the middle. Why they separate them, I'm not sure. Why they can't just put them together. Welcome! What? Who do we have here? There are people on the moon? Is it Golbez? Better not be Golbez. It's not Golbez! It's an old bald man with a really long beard! Who are you? I am Fusoya, the guardian of Lunarian slumber. Lunarians? Yes, millennia ago, the planet between Mars and Jupiter was about to be shattered. Huh. What is that? Damn it. <laughs> Why is my astronomy failing me? Is there one between Mars and Jupiter? It'll come to me. It'll come to me. The people who survived this calamity escaped by ships and headed for the blue planet. No, there isn't. There's just a meteorite belt, isn't it? The blue planet? Earth. Your land, Earth. However, the people of the Earth were still in the process of evolution. Thus, they created another moon and kept sleeping. Lunarians? But he refused it. He tried to make the Earth his place to live. He? Who? I forced him to sleep, but his thoughts were still awakened. His thoughts were still awake, I guess. Is that who is controlling Golbez? Who is that? He is Zemus. He needs the crystals as the energy source to reactivate the Tower of Babel. To bring down the giant of Babel to annihilate the living on Earth. Most of us Lunarians are waiting for you folks on the blue planet to be able to understand us. What about the big whale? My brother Kluya made it to go to the blue planet. He taught your folks how to build the airships and the serpent road. Kluya fell in love with a girl of your blue planet and gave birth to two children. One of them is you, Cecil. <gasps> what? Uncle? Me? Then the light at the Mount Ordeals was. It must be the spirit of your father, Kluya. My father? Is that light? Kluya gave you his power to thwart the foul mach machination of Zemus. We must stop him for the sake of our two races. Now let's hurry to the Tower of Babel and Eblon. Tower of Babel? But it's sheeted! Shielded! Sheeted? What the hell is sheeted? I can neutralize the shield. I will go with you. And Fusoya has joined our party. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that name, to be honest with you, because of the capitalization. Looks like, you know, some younger people on the internet that like to just pounce on the, the shift button up and down. But he has officially joined our party. Let's take a look at him. His MP sucks. Oh, jeez. He is a mage character, technically. Uh, as you can see, he's got... Damn near all the magic. He's even got Meteo. So he's our first party member that can use Meteo in battle. It's very nice. He also has Nuke, which somehow comes after Meteo, but is about half as expensive to use. And he's got all the magic in terms of white and black. He does not have calling magic or anything like that. I will need to rearrange him in a second. He's got the Lunar Rod, uh, Wizard helmet, which I believe is better than anything I got to replace it, uh, sorcerer, uh, body armor, and the diamond ring bracelet. I'm not exactly sure. Wristband. I don't know what those are. 
So, I mean, he's, he's pretty good, but his MP being that low is kind of disturbing, kind of the same thing as Tella. Uh, so hold on for one second while I rearrange my party. Okay, with that done, we are ready to move on. We need to head out. Wait, what level was he? He's level 50, which is higher than Alan Loss as well, in terms of his stats. I didn't check this. He's got no strength. Uh, his agility is pretty good, though. Uh, no vitality, as you might expect, but he's got a ton of wisdom and will, which you also might expect, especially compared to, like, Edge. I mean, his agility is okay, I guess. Actually, it's crap. What am I talking about? It's it's about the same as Rosa and Rydia. I mean, it's it's pretty low compared to the rest of the fires. We just need to head back to the big whale now, the lunar whale. Damn you, puddings! To be honest, his was his black magic isn't nearly as good as Rydia's is right now. It kind of disappoints me. He's not the character I remember. Not the character I remember, nor the character that you should expect from somebody new joining the party at this this time of the game. So let's keep going. Like I said, he's kind of a disappointment at this point of the game, I would think. Because I think I'm actually a little underleveled to where most people are uh, when they get to the moon. I mean, sure, he's got all the magic, but it feels like... It that I should only use them for, you know, stuff like crowd control. Like, for instance, against the puddings, uh, I can stone them using him. So that's much more effective than using, let's say, Fire 3 or anything like that. But it seems kind of a waste. Kind of a waste. But any new member with magic abilities is always appreciated. And I've made it back to the big whale. Which I will use as a resting point. Be right back. Now, there is one other place that we can go on the moon, believe it or not. We need to use the regular flight of this. Now, we can head right here, because you did see that there was a cave here, didn't you? You didn't? That's okay. It's kind of a small little entrance there. But we definitely can head that way. So let's head down towards it. Uh, yes, we have seen these before. Now we can head down here into the Cave of Bahamut. Why he is on the moon in this game, I'm not exactly sure. But I am sure that there is a secret passage up here. With new enemies blocking our way. We have a warlock here. Let's see if I can take him down fairly easily here. Maybe I can aim him to death. This is the first time that we're going to see Fusoya in battle, isn't it? So let's use him to heal immediately because uh, his edge got weakened. Hooray. Let's go for a, uh, for a fire three there. And we can go back to attacking. I hate weak to be honest with you. But down goes the Warlock in the way. We get 2400 gil, 3460 experience, Rosa gains a level. Hooray! Now we can head through the secret passage that I spotted earlier. We can grab ourselves a Samurai Shield, which should be an upgrade for Cecil. Even though it's Samurai, because ninjas are not Samurai. Uh, from 60 and 11, to 6112. Just a small little upgrade there, but always appreciated. So we can now move on. And we can head. Is there anything down here? I don't think there was, but we have a red giant! <laughs> Hooray, red giant. Let's just try to attack it. And then we can also try to heal. And we can, uh. Yeah, let's go for a cure 3 across the board. A mission. This is why I went for the Care 3. Only damage really the front row there, though. Right, let's see what you can do. Let's try something small, though. We'll see if we can piggy the Red Giant. Damn it, it's hard, though. Uh, I feel like I have to save Fusoya's MP, to be honest with you, because he does... Well, he has so little of it. 
And he doesn't do that much damage, to be honest with you. Oh, that's Cecil. I thought that was Rose's turn. Piggy? No piggy. Alright, let's go back to uh, healing everybody. This probably is going to take a little bit here. Damn you, it's hard. Damn you, red giant. Why you hit so hard? Go fire three. Not enough of the victory. And the counter wasn't that tough either. Uh, this is definitely a very tough dungeon that we have found here. But the red giant finally does fall. We get 7,000 gil, 3,780 experience. Edge gains a level out of that as well. Good lord, that guy's tough. I think I need to save. Or, uh, not save. I need to heal. That's the word I'm looking for. Just need to heal Fusoya up a bit, so let's head down here where we can find another treasure chest with a samurai. What was that? Helmet? Could have been a helmet. Uh, no, those were gloves. Just couldn't see the sprite, apparently. Samurai gauntlets. Let's go with that. Uh, from 61 and 12 to 62, 14. We're definitely moving up. Small incremental upgrades that add up over time. Let me tell you, the game is full of them. We need to head pretty much the way that we went before, and we can head down those stairs there. Will you let me through without a battle? You will! How nice of you, game. How very nice. Uh, but there's a battle as soon as we get on the other side against two red giants. Let's keep going. We can head over here. The enemies here are getting very tough. The last fight, I think you saw, was two red giants. Hooray. And we have a ging view. Now, Ryu means dragon. I'm not sure what game means, to be honest with you. But based on what everything else has been around here, it does mean my doom. That much I know. And Fusoya has been pretty much useless for me, so let's go ahead and use the chain draw because I pretty much refuse to use him. Uh, can't piggy the damn game, Ryu. Of course. They're too high of a level to start being able to. To, to status change or anything. Nothing worked on the damn... The damn giants, the red giants. Blaze! Is this going to be bad? It's the bad kind of Blaze. He's the one that utterly decimates everybody. Uh, you go for a cure 3 as well. Oh, but down goes the Gingryu. We get 19,000 gil, 5,000 experience. No level ups, though. No level ups. I do need to heal, though. 